decision is made to arrest both parents so they can be interviewed under caution. I beg your pardon? Do not mention your question. I beg your pardon? Are you joking? Anything you do say, maybe give an answer. No, 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 no. Very upsetting time. No. I beg your pardon? No. <laughs> Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again today. And last year, everybody's fully aware that I covered and tried to raise awareness for a lot of different stories about child neglect, abuse and also murders. In this latest story, it follows a documentary that has been released by Channel 4. After the pair was convicted of a murder in Cambridgeshire in 2019, they were sentenced earlier this year and the body cam footage has just been released. Of the moment that the boyfriend of the mother of the child was arrested and he pretends to cry and also act surprised. In court, it was described as crocodile tears and the 12-week-old baby that was murdered was named Teddy. Kane Mitchell, 32, from Cambridge, was jailed for a minimum of 18 years for murder after the baby died in hospital on November the 11th, 2019, after 10 days on a life support machine. A four-week trial at Cambridge Crown Court heard that Teddy suffered injuries consistent with being gripped hard, shaken vigorously and having his head struck against the hard surface. They said at the time of baby Teddy's death, he had 17 broken ribs, fractures to his skull, also collarbone. They later discovered a bleed on the brain and also spinal and eye damage. This was very similar to a case I covered on baby Amina, who actually had 64 injuries, but her parents weren't convicted or sentenced for murder. And I actually made a petition, which I'd ask you to sign as well. I'll leave a link in the description to try to get that case looked at again because they have avoided any serious convictions. Mitchell had been in a relationship with Teddy's mother, Lucy Smith, who is 30 years old. They'd only been together for eight months and they was living together. During an interview, Smith was asked by the police how her son suffered such horrific injuries and she simply said, I have no idea. She then goes on to say that she would tell police if she's seen any violence towards Teddy because he's my son at the end of the day and he means more to me than anybody. Social services had been made aware of situation from worried neighbours and footage just before the arrest shows him pretending to be a victim in hospital and says to the baby, come on, daddy is here. Uh, You're not taking him? Madam, I have to say the same. Uh, Okay, my colleagues, so we are arresting you what? suspicious oh my God. of attempted murder at are this point. Okay. Oh this is my God. baby! At 3 p.m. on November the 1st, 2019, the ambulance was called to Patterson Court, St. Neots, where Teddy was found to be unresponsive and in cardiac arrest. Smith had left Teddy in the care of Mitchell that day while she did the morning school run. Harrowing footage from the Channel 4 series 24 Hours in Police Custody revealed the moment that the heartless killer attempted to cry to pretend that he cared about the baby that he'd killed. Detective Inspector Lucy Thompson said of Mitchell, he is completely devoid of any remorse or empathy. And it's all about him and not what Teddy went through. The police were able to prove Mitchell had killed Teddy because of the types of injuries that they had inflicted. Teddy died a result of a fractured skull and lack of oxygen to the brain. His death was reminiscent of the injuries that killed 16-month-old Star Hobson, who was murdered by Savannah Brockhill, the girlfriend of her mother, Frankie Smith. And I covered that story last month on the channel. The judge in the case said that the fatal punch or kick that killed Star made her lose half the blood in her body and damaged internal organs. Brockhill, who was a trained boxer, was jailed for 25 years and her mother was jailed for eight. And again, just another reminder how this is happening so often and also the amount of opportunities that are missed to try to save these kids. This is a truly heartbreaking story coming from Cambridgeshire and a summer condolences to the relatives of Teddy. And again, as I said before, we need to stop just saying this is really bad and actually what are we going to do to try to stop and prevent and encourage people to get the help they need if this is the case. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow me online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and Facebook. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.